will not affect the school rooms oh god will not come between the teachers and the students god but lord god almighty come the school term holy father and for the rest of the school years god almighty there will be a perfect relationship almighty god a godly relationship between teachers and students god the classrooms lord god almighty will be one of our oh, god almighty will be conducive to learning lord god almighty the teachers will enjoy doing their work Work and the children will enjoy learning oh god i pray jesus christ that you will sanctify the minds of our young people oh god almighty we know lord jesus christ that the enemies are trying to infiltrate their minds mighty god to tell them holy father all different kind of stuff god to make them seem as if they are the ones in charge almighty oh god i've done about this morning we ask lord in the name of jesus that you will humble their minds almighty oh god of daniel that you will allow their minds god to be conformed to your way lord jesus christ and not the way of the world almighty god we thank you this morning jesus christ that their minds are girded with truth their minds are girded with respect their minds are girded with one aim and desire and determination and that is to learn all they can holy father we pray jesus christ of nazareth that when these students turn out to school lord god almighty they will not find the classrooms teachers less almighty god of daniel they will not find themselves god almighty running up and down that's the way to find teachers oh god almighty but the teachers lord jesus christ will be present and ready for the work oh god almighty ready to do the job for which they have been called and are dead oh god we thank you jesus christ <clears throat> Oh God, that there is a change in the very atmosphere in the schools. Oh God Almighty, where once violence roam, where once violence dominates. God Almighty, the presence and the spirit of Almighty God will dominate those areas. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, even on the streets. Oh God, I pray this morning, Jesus Christ, and as your children turn out, God, when they meet their friends, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, those who were enemies last term or last year, God Almighty, they will become friends this term and this year lord god and for the years to come oh precious jesus oh god schools will no longer fight against schools god there will be no more gang violence in schools oh god almighty but this day lord jesus christ children <clears throat> children will begin to humble themselves god almighty in your hands oh god we cover them this morning god under your precious blood oh god almighty your words tell us that blessed is the god who teaches my hands to war and our fingers to fight this morning god and so we ask lord jesus christ that you will teach those hands god almighty to war in the books almighty god you will teach those minds to war in the books almighty god of daniel to war against principalities and powers in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray this morning mighty god of them that you will give your teachers insight and foresight almighty god of daniel that they too will begin to pray for their classes oh god they too will begin to pray for their students mighty god of daniel we ask this morning god that your holy angels will touch down from heaven holy father and our great god jehovah and surround these schools oh god surround the teachers god almighty surround the students homes god we know that they are coming from different backgrounds holy jesus christ of nazareth but we also know god that there is nothing impossible or hard for you to do lord god almighty no matter the circumstances no matter the surroundings god and might we know god that you can make that difference holy jesus christ and so this morning god we cry out to you mighty god of done and we ask lord god that you will intervene in every situation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god some fathers that are fathers indeed holy father who want good for their children who want the best for their children mighty god raise them up mighty god of daniel to cry out to you lord jesus christ on the behalf of their children almighty god on the behalf of their neighbors children sweet jesus christ on the behalf of their children's classmates almighty god of daniel cause them god to cry out to you holy father for divine protection 
on the roads oh mighty god i've done it so many accidents have been happening on the roads god over the years god almighty but this morning mighty god i've done it with time to declare god that there'll be no more accidents lord jesus christ when it comes to the lives of our children mighty god they will be speared mighty god i've done it from the carnage on the road oh god almighty they will be speared lord jesus christ on the violence in the communities they will be speared mighty god of daniel from everything that is not see that is not right in your sight oh god almighty i ask this morning god that you will deaf their ears to the violence almighty god of daniel you will blind their eyes god to the violence in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you will cover them mighty god that they will not see oh god almighty the wrong influences oh god that surrounds them holy god we pray this morning jesus christ that you will raise up some young men in the schools god almighty who will cry out to you holy father raise up god almighty some girls lord jesus christ and some boys that will cry out to you holy father that will take a stand for righteousness oh god i pray jesus christ of nazareth that some will draw even teachers to you lord god because we know god almighty that the enemy is working over time mighty god seeking those whom he may devour this morning god but we cry out lord jesus christ and we ask lord that for this generation of children god almighty this generation of teachers the now generation oh god we place them in your hands god almighty and we declare this morning god that the devil will not have them he will not take control of their minds he will not take control of their spirits god almighty this morning jesus christ we cover them god under your blood we cover them jesus we cover them mighty god of then and we ask father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that their ways almighty god will be conformed to your ways sweet jesus christ bless them more mighty god in a special way holy father lord god almighty those who have a problem learning the different subject areas god i pray this morning father that you will place upon the mighty god the spirit of excellence in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord i pray that the teachers will execute their jobs and their lessons so perfectly god that the children will learn almighty god the children will gravitate oh god to the very subjects that once gave them problem to learn oh god almighty i ask this morning God, that will open that part of their brains, Lord Jesus Christ, so that they will learn, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, they will begin to understand the precepts and the principles, Almighty God of Daniel. Oh God, that they can become great men and great women of influence tomorrow. Almighty God of Daniel, this day, Lord Jesus Christ, is a day of reckoning. This day, Lord God Almighty, is a day of change. This day, Lord God Almighty, will be a day to be remembered, a day to be marked down in history, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, where you step into the lives of your children, Almighty God. You will step into the lives of their parents, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, those ill spoken words spoken over the children, mighty God of Daniel. We shoot them down this morning in the name of Jesus. None shall become gunmen, none shall become prostitutes, none shall become let us camels, mighty God of Daniel. None, Lord God Almighty, shall wake in the way, of, walk in the way of Baal this morning in the name of Jesus. None shall walk in the way of negromancy nor even any kind of evil this morning mighty god but all lord jesus christ will lift up their heads and be counted in the name of jesus christ be counted among the righteous be counted among the chosen this morning oh god be counted among the prosperous oh god almighty the prosperity of this nation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth none lord god almighty shall take a backward step holy father into unrighteousness oh god but everyone lord jesus christ will lift up their heads mighty god of and I walk in the very homes of the children this morning, mighty God, especially the teenagers, Holy Father. Oh God Almighty, where the spirit of rebellion seems to run rampant, oh mighty God. We ask Jesus Christ that you will step into those homes this morning, Father. Oh God Almighty, and sanctify the minds of those children, oh God Almighty. Give them a calm spirit, oh God, before they even turn out back to school. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, God Almighty, that those prayers, God, that have been prayed over them before, oh Oh God, Lord Jesus Christ will begin to manifest in their lives, oh God, and that they will turn out to school, Lord Jesus Christ, with a new mindset, oh God Almighty, a mindset to learn, oh God Almighty, a mindset to put down their guns, oh God, a mindset, God Almighty, to turn away, oh God, from immorality in the name of Jesus of every sort this morning, God, a mindset, Holy Father, to frame their future, Lord God Almighty, from today in the name of Jesus. I pray, God Almighty, that they will return 
return to school, holy God, with a fresh determination, God Almighty, not to waste time, God, the time that they have wasted in the last school semester, mighty God. <clears throat> They will decide, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to turn their minds against, oh God Almighty, time wasting, oh God Almighty, but they will turn to you this time, Lord Jesus Christ, they will turn to their books, oh mighty God of Daniel, they will turn away from their games, oh God, and turn to their books, they will turn away, God Almighty, from gang violence and turn to you in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, instead of gangs for war, God, they will form a gang for righteousness, mighty God of Daniel, they will form a group, God, God Almighty, that will give your praise. A group, God Almighty, that will tell others about you in the name of Jesus. God, we know that you have some young men that you have marked for victory. You have some young women, God, that you have marked for victory. Those that are in the school rooms, God, those that are preparing to turn out to school, God, you have marked them for righteousness, mighty God of Daniel. And those are the ones, God, that the enemy seem to be tearing down, God. But this morning, Father, we take a stand for them, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we stand up with them this morning mighty god of daniel and we declare righteousness over them mighty god we declare peace over their lives lord jesus christ we declare this morning mighty god of daniel that none shall miss the mark oh god but all shall come to oh god almighty to the realization that they have been chosen by the hands of almighty god they have been personally handpicked by you lord god almighty and so this morning we place them in your hands holy father and we ask mighty god that you will place god almighty a perpetual blood covering over their children, Lord God Almighty, over the parents, Lord Jesus Christ. Change their way of thinking, Almighty God of Daniel. And I ask, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will just be with them, Holy Father, in a special way, Almighty God. I ask, Lord Jesus Christ, that even the very words out of their mouth, O God Almighty, will give your praise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will defeat every plan of the enemy this morning over for the lives of your children in Jesus' holy name. Oh God Almighty, where the, children, where the enemy has marked them for evil, we mark them for good this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Where the enemy has chosen them, Almighty oh God of Daniel, for evil and for sacrifices, we choose them, we choose them this morning, Almighty oh God of Daniel, for blessings and for praise and for prosperity in the name of Jesus. Us. Cover the mighty God of Daniel in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks, O God. Take over even now, blessed Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercies this morning. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. You alone deserve the glory this morning. You alone deserve the praise, almighty God. Thank you for this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah. My spirit worship you this morning, Jesus. Only you know, only you know, Jesus. But to you be glory, honor, and praise this morning. As I say, thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Faith Walker. Good morning, everyone online. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Only God knows this morning, but I praise him. I am thankful to Almighty God this morning. I am thankful to Almighty God this morning. If there's any newcomer online, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you. You are at the right place, at the right time, to get a right word that the Lord is sending to our hearts this morning. I pray, children of God, that as the speaker prepares to take over this morning, that we will be prayerful and that this morning we will listen attentively to the word that the Lord will speak to us this morning and that we will see him glorified this morning. Hallelujah, morning, hallelujah, morning. hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. And this morning, our speaker is our own Sister Rochelle Bistenti. I ask you that you pray for her and that we preach with her and that the Holy Spirit this morning will take full control hallelujah over every situation that we come with this morning upon this altar 
Sister Rochelle, it is now over to you in care of the Holy Ghost. Good morning, everybody. Greetings to Mother Foster and all the ministers and pastors and the prayer line this morning. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I hope you're hearing me clearly. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay your crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay your crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Above all other gods, we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship Worship you, oh glorious God, we praise your name, we lay our crowns and worship you, oh glorious God. We praise your name. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crown. And worship you, oh, be lifted above all other gods. Hallelujah. We lay our crowns and worship you, oh, be lifted. Above all other gods, we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crown. And worship you, oh glorious God, we praise your name, we 
lay our crowns and worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay your crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Hallelujah. Above all other gods, we lay our crowns and worship you. We lay our crowns and worship Hallelujah, I lay my crown and I worship you. Oh, glorious God, I praise your name. Hallelujah, I lay my crown and I worship you. I lay my crown and I worship you. Hallelujah. 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 If you have a praise this morning, open up your mouth, open up your mics and give the Lord a praise. If you have a worship this morning, open up your mics and give the Lord a worship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Jesus, we didn't die of hunger when it was when it was lacking. Food was lacking. We didn't die of hunger. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,
Jesus, hallelujah. The word of God says, young man, I call you because you are strong. They are strong. They can overcome the world. Young man, I call you because you are strong. You can overcome the world. They have purpose. They are strong. They are strong. They are strong. They have a lot of purpose down on the inside of them. They can accomplish great things. They can soar like eagles. They can overcome. They can conquer. They can do, do marvelous things for the Lord. They can do marvelous things for the Lord. Signs and wonders. They can do. They can. But I'm telling you this morning, do not give up. Do not give up on them. 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 Hallelujah. 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 God loves them. God loves them. God loves them. And he said the plans that he have is to prosper. Prosper, prosper, prosper is within their lifespan that they prosper. It is within their lifespan that they prosper. It's within their lifespan that they prosper and be in good health. It's within their life, it's within their destiny that they prosper. Oh, the enemy come in many ways are form. Oh, in comfy mad some young people, in comfy cause some young people to be in mental illness. He come to bury some in depression. He come to bury some and they develop bad attitude and bad behavior. But I tell you this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I come to tell you this morning, do not give up on them. Do not give up on them. Do not give up on them. They have a purpose. They have a purpose. And the enemy has come to kill. The enemy has come to steal. The enemy has come to destroy. But I come to tell you this morning, stand firm. Stand firm for your child. Stand firm for the children in your church. Stand firm for the children in your in your work. Place in if you're a teacher, stand firm, God Almighty. Stand firm, stand firm, stand firm in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray because the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The prayer of a righteous man, hallelujah, availeth much, availeth much. Don't give give up on them. Don't give up on them. Don't give up on them. Because I know that there is a scripture in the word of God that says uh, they can do all things to Christ that strengthens them. They can do all things to Christ that strengthens them. Oh God Almighty, some of them enter the, the, enter the classroom with a mindset that they can't do it. With a mindset, mindset that they can't achieve it. With a mindset that this, this subject me, me not go past this, me not go past this, but I want a parent, a parent, a, 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 a tear giver, oh God, who will not give up on them, who will motivate them day and night and tell them that they can do all things through Christ that strengthens them. I need somebody, oh God Almighty, along the road, seeing them going to school, oh, don't know what they're struggling in their mind with, to tell them you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. It. You can do it. I remember when I was in Fifth Farm and I was walking home oh, with my friends and a lady just come to me and say, you will do well. Don't give up. Don't give up. You will do well. You will do well. It don't look like it no, but you will do well. Oh, God Almighty, I need some people on the road who will encourage our young people, who will encourage our young people, even though they look like they don't care even though they look like they don't 
business. Oh, encourage them. Encourage them. Encourage them. Because greatness lies ahead of them. Greatness lies ahead of them. Greatness lies ahead of them. But what the enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. The enemy come to cripple them. The enemy come to cripple them, to hold them in, to lock them up in a song, something, to lock them up in a song, something, peer pressure come to hold them captive. But don't give up on them. Don't you dare give up on them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was listening to a testimony on the radio Monday, and it said, there was a young man and he said that he was going to college and he met a friend who started to influence him because he wanted to be in the music industry and he wanted to be great he said that he wanted to be famous he wanted to be wealthy and the friend introduced him to the chain and the ring lifestyle, the kingdom of darkness lifestyle, where you get rich quick. And he said that the friend called him to come to the church that they go to. And he went and he, it's not really a church, it's a society. And he went there and he said that he got involved in it and he became one of the greatest rappers right here in Jamaica. He said that he became one of the greatest rappers. And money was coming in, seven million, one million, two million. They were coming in and didn't have to work hard. Easy money, fast car, fast money. And he said he, he enjoyed the lifestyle. Another the young man said that he was like when you eat mackerel and you get introduced to lobster. That was what he felt like. And he wanted more. He wanted more. And he said that how they, how they, how they, how they connect the demons and load the demons in the ring. He said that they use his DNA and he even drank blood to get the money that he wanted and he said that he, he even went to a restaurant they sent him to a restaurant they don't go to local restaurant they go to the high class restaurant and he said he was just sitting there and somebody would just walk up to him and say are you so and so are you so and so i have a package for you and in the package you see two million three million given to him and he said, enough, you work hard, feet in Getty. And that's the life that a lot of young people today want. The fast money, the fast care. And they will do it not knowing that they're selling their souls to the devil. They will sign papers not knowing that they're selling their souls to the devil. Because they like the life that they're living. They like it. They are comfortable. They are comfortable. But the young man went on and he said that he met this beautiful young lady. This young lady was a Christian. And she said to him, say, in order for me and you to be in a relationship, you have to come over my side. Come over the Christian side. And he said, he don't know why he loved this young lady so much. He had so much feelings for this young lady. He don't know why. But the young lady keep insisting, serve God, and then we can have a relationship. And the young man said, the lady keep inviting her to church. The lady keep inviting her to church, inviting him to church. But he wouldn't go because the demons would allow him to go. The thing.
Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. For the healing of the Lord. Internet, touch the name of the Lord. Touch the, the, the internet right now in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Jesus, Jesus, come to for us this morning, mighty God. Jesus, let us say this speak in the name of Jesus. Speak to her this morning, over under your blood in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Where are you up to this morning? We are praying. We worship and praise you. Jesus, we worship the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, we worship you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I am the blood of Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We tear and retain that come against us this morning. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So the young man didn't know why he liked that young girl so much. So he said that one day he just get up and decide to go to the church after the demons were fighting him and don't want him to go don't want him to go don't want him to go he said he decided to go and he he said the demons know when he enter a church that is really serving god he said that when the prayer warriors began to start to pray when the prayer warriors started to pray, and when they started to pray, and when they started to pray, he said the chain around his neck began to burn. He said him not know what happened, but the chain around his neck start to burn. And he said him sitting in another place, and he was uncomfortable, uncomfortable. And he, he, he said just get up and come out. And him going in car and he drive off. And him say, reach a spot on the road where him stop. And he push back in car seat and he began to talk to God. And him say, God, the girl, she me want, she me want, she me want God. Come we make a deal. Go make a deal together because me want that girl, me like that girl. And he said that him no know, him just fall asleep right there in the seat. Him fall asleep. He say he never tired or anything. He just fall asleep. And he saw his life. It's like him spirit leaving body. And he was above the car, but he could see himself sleeping. And he said he saw two life before him. One of the life was rich and famous and wealthy. But in the end, he was unhappy. He was gone to hell. In the other life, it was happiness in the end he had money he had money to take care of himself in the other life he had just enough just enough enough to make it he wouldn't be hungry he wouldn't be homeless 
he wouldn't be without a vehicle. He had enough. And in the end was happiness. So during that encounter, that young man chose to serve the Lord. That young man chose to serve the Lord. I am here today if there is a young person hearing my voice speaking to you this morning. Rich and famous life through the wrong means, through the wrong ways, we end you up in hell. Take up your education, live a life where God is pleased. Don't go to the wrong means just to make it and look and make everybody see that you have it. You know, worth it. Parents, don't give up on your child. Don't give up on your child. Don't give up on the children of your church. Don't give up on the children in your community. Their mind is influenced by the enemy influenced by peers to tell them and pull them in the wrong direction but i pray today that you won't give up on your child fight for their success fight for your kids fight for their life Fight for their destiny. Fight so their purpose may come out. Fight for them. Some of them don't even know what they are in. Some of them don't even understand what they are putting themselves in. Just to have it. I implore you today. Don't give up on them. For with money it may seem impossible. With money may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. God can change anybody's story. God can change anybody's life. God can bring anybody through school. God can provide for anybody. But the word of God said that if you forsake him, he will forsake you. But if you seek him, you shall find him. But let me say it again. If you forsake him, he may go forsake you. He may go forsake you. That's what the word of God said in Ezekiel. I remember the four lepers. That had the skin disease or some disease. And they said that if they stay here, they're going to die. But if they move forward, them said probably them dead too. For adventure, somebody will be there to rescue them. Parents. Move forward with your child. Move forward with your child. Don't stay in the same position. Don't stay in the same place. Don't stay there. Peradventure, you get help on the way. Peradventure, that child surprise you. For adventure, that child become one of the brightest. For adventure, that child through your motivation, through you speaking life into that child, surprise you. What I realized with the four lepers, they were conversing one with one another. That probably we need to move forward. 
Babu, we need to go. Make we just go. Make we just go. Parents, speak to your child. Speak to your child. Speak, motivate them, encourage them, push them. We do it because they can. Do it through Christ who strengthens them. Encourage them. Lead them. Lead them. Direct them. Show them the way. Pray for them. For adventure. They will be the one to free you from some things. To free you from some lifestyle. Hallelujah. 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 Fight for them. Don't give up on them. Seek. Ask. And it shall be given unto you. Seek. And you shall find. Seek. And you shall find. Knock. And the door shall be open unto you. Hallelujah. 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 Watch. Watch over them. Watch over them. Be aware of the things that they do. As the word of God said, be sober. Be vigilant. Be watchful. Because what the adversary as a roaring lion seek it. Whom he may devour. He's after the generation that will produce greatness. He's after the generation that will produce results. He's after the generation that will seek God like never before. He's after the generation who will speak Christ like never before. He's after the generation who will break the curse. He's after them. So be sober. Be watchful. Be vigilant. Seek. Seek. Seek some more. Because the Lord. The Lord. Will come true. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Let's send up some worship and some praise. Let's send up some praise for the word this morning. Father, we thank you for the word. We thank, thank you for your you daughter. For the that gives the morning. word this thank morning. You we thank you, this my morning. Dear God, for the word thank that will come to help us morning. to bring back our children back into our minds and our thoughts. Lord, Lord, thank we pray, you, God, God, that you touch that this you morning. God, that you that everyone this life. morning, my God, as we look to this morning. Oh, God, you are the God that never fails. Oh, God, we worship you this morning. We care who you name this morning. Help us remember that the, the children that you gave them to us, you gave them to us for a reason and a purpose. So we pray, God, that none will be lost and none will be taken away from us, mighty God. But Father, we are accountable for them in the name of Jesus. Help us not to give up on our children, not to give up on our children, but to pray for them. Oh God, and to lead them to righteousness. Help us, oh God, to keep them. Oh God, God, we are guarded in your protection. Oh God, and you filling them the right, and you filling them the right thing. My children, so you are God. You are the only wise God. I thank you this morning for the word that came to bring life to us this morning. Oh God, we worship you this morning. We give glory to your name this morning. You are holy God. You are Jehovah. You are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I worship you this morning. 
empty. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we worship you this morning. We give glory to your name this morning because you are on time, God. You are a God that never fails. And we lift up your name this morning. Thank you for the word, mighty God. Thank you for the word, almighty God, on time word this morning. Almighty oh, God, to remind us not to give up on our children. We have to instill in them the qualities of life and to pray with them and pray for them and lead them into the path of righteousness. God bless you this morning, my sister, for such a time word. God bless you. God bless you. Mother Foster, our evangelist Foster, are you still there? Yes, Sister Joy, I'm here. Can you pray for a preacher this morning, a speaker? Heavenly Father, we just glorify you for who you are. We are glad, God, that you said we should put our trust in you. And this morning, Almighty God, I lift Sister Rochelle Vicente before you. God, you, it is because of your grace and your mercy yes, why she is who she is today because when the enemy laid hand upon her you declare that this child is yours and this morning as she has availed herself to you almighty god i pray that you will open the windows of heaven i pray this morning god that you will open doors spirit of god i pray for direction i pray for wisdom i pray for understanding lord god i put her before you this morning as we put all other children before you i ask you almighty god that you will build a fiery wall around her that when the enemy comes upon her god he will not be able to detect her move he will not be able to find her god because she's hidden in the cleft of your rock and as she prepare god almighty for school i pray almighty god that you will send seraphims and seraphims god to stand at every door that she will enter through i pray god that you will set such an anointing upon her almighty yes. god uh, that when the students come to seek before yes. her god almighty your mark will be evident upon her god and every demon will be subjected, yes. God Almighty, in the to name your power of and your spirit that lives within her. Lord God, I place her to you, her family, the home that she lives in, the community she lives in. Yes. God, make her a beacon, make her a beacon, make her a beacon, Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And I pray, Lord, that as she continue to avail herself to you, that you will propel her, Lord, into greatness and that she will continue to be an oracle of yours, always declaring your truth. This Thank morning, you. I tell you, thanks for all that you have done for her, all that you will continue to do. And we will be careful to give you the glory, knowing that you said you will not share your glory with any other. Thank you for every person on this line this morning. And I pray your continued blessings over our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank, Thank you, Evangelist Pastor, for that prayer. Mighty God, we worship you. We glorify your name this morning. We thank you because you're a good God and you promised to never to leave us alone. You promised not to forsake us. And God, we look to you this morning because you are our source. You are our strength. He said, The joy of the Lord is our strength. And mighty God, we look to you this morning because we need some joy in our soul this morning. We bless your name. We thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Mighty God, the word went out this morning telling us, oh, mighty God, that we must not give up on our children. Mothers, do not give up on our children. Not because they're not looking into the direction we want them to be, but don't give up on them. Keep instilling something good in them. Remind them who they are and pray for them. Pray for them because the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. The, the Psalms 120 said, said, 
Psalm, yeah, Psalm 127 said, Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb in his reward. He says, As arrows are in the hands of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. And he said again, Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. It doesn't matter how much you have, you're in charge to keep them. You are God give it to them to you for a purpose and for a reason. So keep instill good into your children. They are not the worst, they are the best. They are yours. Nobody's gonna give the um, I'm not gonna give I remember a pastor telling us that say your neighbor's not gonna give you his child is if he's a good child so you give you have yours as your good child in your eyes he's good he's wonderful he's all that and keep instilling good in your kids it's just the enemy come to and try to tell her oh miss joe child is a doctor or this one is that and your child is doing it. just keep praying for the child and instill good into them don't compete them keep and, and sometime this week we heard that in the preaching don't compete them just keep nurturing them and, and encouraging them. I heard, um, I think it was Tuesday morning, Pastor Chin preach, and he told us about um, sometimes we do things to our children and don't even know that we do it. I, I remember going to church with my child and, and have her sit beside me. I remember Pastor Lee said, he's going to give Alicia a gift for being the best behaving child in church and stuff like that. Because when I put her, I said, sit here. And listen to the word. You're not too small to listen to the word. You can pick up something out of it. And you know, when we take those kids to, to church and we um give them those devices, and I heard him make mention of it, we are distracting them from the word. We are distracting them from hearing a word of prayer. They're young, but they, they can they can do it. They can do put them to the test. They like oh, they have the mind to get on those devices. And and they these kids know they use those devices more than you do. So they understand. So they will understand the word of God and they will pick up and, and hear what is good to benefit their life. So when they go to church, um, my mothers, don't be pushing the devices in their hands and, and make them playing and then you listen to the word and they are not hearing it. Encourage them to listen. Encourage them, hold them on your arm and, and you know, encourage them to hear the word of God because it's valuable. They learn from those age from those young tender age to hear the word of God. It will not depart out of their spirit, but don't use any, any other these devices to distract them. When they are home, that's enough, but don't take it to church with them. Then go to children church and in children church when it's almost time for church to over and they sit beside you. Let them listen to the word. They will get something from it. I remember seeing children come home in my days and, and start to, when um, evangelists used to, Get in spirit, and I said, This is even just get in spirit and then dance and stuff like that. They are watching and they are listening. They are, they are the same children, the same evangelists and pastors that come up now. They're the one used to jerk pastor saying, Praise the Lord. And they go up there with the microphone and say things. They are watching, they have creative minds. So just help them to, to be encouraged and to be strengthened. God bless you as we listen from Monday, come on to this morning. We want to have a morning of thanksgiving unto God. If you have a burning testimony or a praise report and you want to say it, you can say it quick. But we're going to give this morning to thanking God for hearing the prayers, for the, um, intervening or fasting, the prayers of the mothers. We asking God this morning to continue to be with them. But we're going to say thank you, Father, for the whole week we have been God getting your attention on our children. So we want to say thank you, Father, this morning. We want to say thank you for the prayers offered. We want to say thank you for the provision. Thank you for what you have put on the table for them back to school. We want to give God thanks this morning for her children. So if you have a burning testimony this morning that you just on your heart that you want to say, it, go ahead and say it. And for the prayer request, if you don't mind, if there's something that urgently a prayer request and you want to say it, but we're going to dedicate this morning, the rest of this week, to the children. So we're going to ask each mother, each grandmother, even if you don't have a child, but you're a mother at heart. If your neighbor's child are in church and you see some kids there, hold some of them in your heart and pray for them. We're going to pray through this morning for our children. We're going to finish this week praying for our kids because they start school next week. And at the end of it, I'm going to ask um, um, Sister Enid, if you can just close us off in prayer 
and then evangelist um, Les will take over. So we gonna lift up the name of Jesus this morning for our children. We just are gonna leave it here. We gonna continue praying for them because they need us. And we need to be good mentors to our children. Don't use, loo use loose words and they say that's one slip. It's no slip. Be careful of what you're saying in front of the kids because we don't even think that they aren't listening. They are hearing, they are hearing. And we want to be good examples for our kids. We want to be good mentors for our children. Let it start from home. That when they go to school, teacher don't say, I wonder if the child is there and what is happening in their home. Let it be a different thought and a different saying that these kids are godly kids. Something good is in them. God bless you this morning. If you have a burning testimony, you want to say it? If not, we're going to go into more into prayer. Morning. Good I'm going to pass my prayer request because uh, I'm a bit busy. So. My prayer request is for my grandson, Elijah, and my daughter, Ashley. Is that just for coverage for school or something is wrong? Oh, coverage for school. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We will. Elijah, we will pray for them. Is there someone else has a testimony that we want to? Good morning. Good morning. Can I say something about um about the children, about um parenting and children? Go ahead. Go ahead, sis. Yes, good morning, everybody. Um I'm really here to say this morning that um children um, we are, as parents, we're responsible for bringing up our children in the right way, in the Lord, because it is our responsibility. You know, at times we don't take our responsibility, you know, in hand and we don't, you know, we don't take it and say, well, that is, um, it is our responsibility. God is looking to us, you know, to really teach our children in the right way. Why I'm saying this is, is it is by experience. I can remember when I got saved and me and my husband, we are divorced now. And, you know, my children, you know, we did not take the, the, the responsibility. You know, we didn't see it as, you know, like it is important for us to really bring up our children properly. And, you know, we used to, like, we, you know, they prayed. We invite them to prayer when we are praying and, you know, reading the word of God. But we don't, you know, take that kind of responsibility to see to it that they are taught in the right way and taught to, you know, to, to know God and to serve God even as children. We don't take up that kind of responsibility and now it is really telling on, on me because now I have this train to pray for them because they are grown. It's two of them now. Two of them is, give, has given their life to the Lord. But I have another two that gives so much trouble. And when I look back and, and, and see that, you know, I wasn't there for them to teach them and instruct them and see to it that they follow God in the right way as I was following. Or oh, to tell you the truth, I was a backslider, but God has helped me to, you know, to regain, to yeah. retrace my steps, to come back to God, back accepting to him. him and serving him. And it is when I came back to God, my eyes were opened. I was enlightened to see that, you know, I should have brought up my children in the way of God. I shouldn't left them alone because at times, you know, we gone to church, our children are at home. Uh, we are in, even, even if they're at church, we don't pay much attention to them to see to it that they listen as the, the preacher was saying, as, 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 as you were saying, we don't allow them to listen. They're, they're playing. They're up and down, some of them reading books. 
but we should have the responsibility, know our responsibility that we should bring up our children because we have to answer to God yeah. for our children. And, you know, it was when I've, I've come back to the Lord, where I've, I've, I've regained, retraced my steps and, and, and repented and come back to God. My eyes were open and because I was in another prayer group and this lady, you know, she, she always tells me how she 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 have her child under control and how she teaches him. She 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 draw him to prayer and wherever he is wrong, she would scold him and teach him, show him. She don't she don't you know really um cuss him out on them something there, but she would instruct him and see to it that he read with. He, he reads the word of God. He, she prays with him and she instructs him right from wrong. And that is where I failed. And now my children, especially those two boys, they are so angry. They are so, you know, you cannot talk to them. It seems like they are in their mind. Their mind have been blinded and their soul have been, you know, captivated. But I have this train now to pray after pray day and pray night. And although I don't see any result, I have to continue praying, continue crying to God. Their behavior is uh, really unbearable, but I have to continue. And the way they talk to me, the way they behave with me, I have to just forgive them and continue praying for them. So it is good for us to know that our children, we have to bring them up, show them when they are children, babies, from their babies, they understand and they will take it. If we instill in them the word of God and what they should do from what they should not do, then they will take it and they will become. They At times they don't really, you know, um, when they come of age, sometimes they turn, you know, but they don't be, become that kind of vulgar and bad have that bad behavior you know when 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 you are they had the word of god instilling them uh, at times they you know they will go astray but they know right they still know right from wrong and they still continue you know to hold withhold themselves from certain things so this is my encouragement this morning also that we as parents from the their children we should teach them see to it take it as our responsibility because god is looking to us to train our children properly and that they would follow the lord as we are following good examples teach them you know speak to them and help them to understand and what when they are old they will not depart from it this is my few words Amen. Amen. Praise God. Don't give up, Sister Smith. Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. The preacher Amen. tells us this morning, said, don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your child. He, they are yours. You just continue to instill good in them and you be the example mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. them and you will get them. Mm -hmm. God and God see that you're doing your very best and, and trying to get them to win the path that they should be. God will come true for you. Just keep mm -hmm. praying, my sister, and don't mm -hmm. give up. Amen. Mm -hmm. They are grown them. now, you know, they are grown yeah. now, but uh, I just have to continue praying because they don't yes, listen. Keep praying. Yes, keep praying and show them love. Give them love. Amen. Yes, just keep praying for them and give them love. God going to come true for you. Is your heart desire. He's going to work upon intent of your heart and give Amen. you your heart desire to see them make it into heaven. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you for those encouraging words this morning. More upon what we got this week to mm -hmm. help our children to be better children. You know, we need it. In these difficult times, we need it. In the days of when I remember when the village used to grow our children, but the way the village is going now, we can't depend on the village anymore to grow our kids mm -hmm. because there's too much violence is in the village. So we have to hold the bull by his horn and grow them ourselves and pray with them and teach them the way that God wants us to be. Instead, children and heritage, they are his inheritance. So let us continue to worship God and to lift up his name and to put our children at the end of the altar daily, daily. It's a daily process. Anybody yeah. else want to say something? 
Um, morning, morning, everyone. I just want to elaborate, elaborate a little on what the lady was just saying a while ago about the children. However, um, my thing is that, you know, you, you really brought them up because I used to be a single, single parent and um, my son, he, I have two sons and from, they were born, take them to church, instill everything, we have prayer meeting, have um evening time we have our, our, our evening worship and morning worship and he was in church they were in church they give their life to god no um the smaller one the smaller one he has a ministry and he used to go to school leave school but realize that at sixth form he realized he, he begins to neglect church he doesn't want to go to church um peer pressure you know, and I mean, you know, you teach them the way of God, but yet still they grow and they, 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 they come out of it. They come out of it. You know, you cry, you pray, you do things. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you, 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 you carry on, but it's not a situation that you don't bring them in the admonition of God. But when they grow, they, 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 they tend to turn to things that they feel like um they should do and you know they, they want to live their lives and they don't want you to live their lives for them not that you're living a your life for them but you know you're, you're trying to teach them the way of god and that you you would want to see them you know go in the way of god until you know they, they they become adults and stuff like those but however they have a way of turning away they have a way of turning away because my son he has a ministry he sing like a songbird and when when he was in church, you know, it, it was always my greatest pleasure to see him on the pulpit singing for God with that ministry. And, you know, I keep praying. But however, he has gone through a whole lot of stuff. And, you know, sometimes he'd call me and say, Mommy, pray for me. Sometimes he'd call me and he'd say, Mommy, I wonder if God is real because I'm going through this and I'm doing that. And I talk to God and he's like, God is not hearing. You understand me? So even though you, you, you teach them and they, 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 they fall from the feet, they fall away, right? You have to be keep praying. I remember one day it was in trouble. When I say trouble, I mean trouble. And I cry and I pray and I cry and I say, God, where are you in all of this? I said, God, remember, I gave him to you because I always say, God, he is your child. He is a David. I said, God, he is a David. And I, you lend him to me and I give him back to you. I said, God, are you going to allow the enemy to destroy this child? And you know the purpose in this child. And honestly, while I was there, my knee, I only heard the, the, the voice said to me, it's in my hands. It's in my hands. And I said, God, if it is in your hand, then you have to do something. And yes, he's not back in church or anything, but I won't stop praying. I will not stop praying because I know that one day, one day, many a times he called me and he said, Mommy, if it hadn't been for your prayer, I don't know what would have happened. But I wanted to pray for me. I wanted to pray for me because I know that there is a God, but sometimes I talk to God. Mommy, sometimes I dey home and I cry, you know, I cry and I talk to God, but it's like God now nah hear me. What happened? Sometimes in, in, in we say things, boy, mommy, it's like me dark right now, me in a dark world. You know, and I have to be saying, no, you don't come from a dark world. You don't come from a dark world and there's no mm -hmm. darkness in mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God and there's no darkness in you. I say, Satan is alive from the pit of hell. So sometimes Satan try to, you know, try to overtake your child, but as a, as a mother, right? As a mother, we have to keep praying. We have to keep travailing for our child, right? Or our children, right? And I know that this day will come. He always sing this song by um, Avin Slaughter. I want to run to you. And I say, God, I want to see the day. I will live to see the day when you will bring him back to the pulpit, when he will sing that song. That is my greatest desire, to, see, to hear him again singing that song for you and winning souls, right? So as parents, we, we just have to, you know, at, at one point, I just give up. I just give up. I just give up. Minister Minister Altia, right, many a times, she has to be praying with me, praying for him because he doesn't even trust nobody. He was hurt in church. He doesn't trust nobody. He said, Mommy, you're the only person we trust. Are we from God? You're the only person we trust. 
right? Nobody can pray. He doesn't want nobody to, to pray for him. Him saying, don't just don't trust nobody. Him just don't trust nobody at all, right? Him said, mommy, your prayer the only prayer I trust. I said, Travis, you cannot trust my prayer alone. There are people out there who loves you, who want to see good of you. It's not everybody evil. Not everybody, you know, have bad intention for you. Him said, mommy, me been hurt so many times. And because of people, because of people, I'm, 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 I just, I just don't want to have nothing to do with people. Right, so he's this type of person who has a guard up. He doesn't trust no pastor. He doesn't trust nobody, right? But I'm still praying, and I will never stop praying because you know something. My child tell me, he said, "Mommy, I know that there's a God, and I know that God is real." But there's just so, there's just something, mommy. There's just something. There's just something, and I know that the enemy, the enemy, has tr is trying. But, you know, as I get up this morning and I worship and I worship and I said, I will never be defeated. I will never be defeated. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. And I will never be defeated no matter what. And no matter what the enemy is telling me that my child is of no use. And, you know, a lot of people, because even my it's very siblings, liar. even my very siblings, right, they have nothing good to say about him. Jesus. He has nothing good to say about him. He's not a gunman. He's just somebody who has been hurt and just isolate himself from people. Probably I'm a part of the, the, the cause that he has been hurt. Probably I, I am a cause. I'm a part of it. And I repented to God and I asked God to forgive me of allowing things to happen. I didn't really step in on time. You understand me? He wasn't sexual abuse. He wasn't sexually abused, but he was abused. And I didn't step in on time. You know, people, people say things about him. And now I have to be repenting to God and asking God to, to whatever word that has been spoken over his life, that, that I refute it. It will not be whatever. I've already taken root. I asked him to uproot it. He's my last child. And... I love him and I love him dearly. Not that I love him more than the rest of kids. But he is a child who has not known his father. And that thing also take a toll on him. It take a toll on him because when his father is trying to get back into his life, you know, he tell him a whole lot of things that a child should not have said to his parent. But, you know, I said to him, regardless of the circumstances, the Bible said, you know, children obey your parents in the Lord, for it is right. And your mother and your father that your days may belong. And he said, Mommy, he's just a sperm donor. I don't want to hear nothing from him when I need him in my life where he was. When I'm on the street, where he was. When I want him to be a father for me, where he was. I don't want I have nothing to do with him. You know, but I pray and I ask God. And no, they're having a little relationship, not as a father and a son, but from time to time, he will call him to say, how are you doing and stuff like that. And, you know, he's not a person of many words, right? And he will just say, well, I'm okay or whatever. And, you know, that's it. But I'm asking you to pray for him. I'm asking to pray for him because I know that there's a purpose in him. And purpose will not die. Purpose will not die. My other son he has joined his, his, his wife and his, his, his kid in, in Canada now. And before he left, he had um joined take time, you know, I draw back to, to God and you know going back into his church. And you know, I spoken to him before he left and I said, everyone, please remember that there's a God and remember that God is first and foremost in, in your life. And you have a kid and you have to grow your that child the way God wants him to grow. And you have to be a father, you have to be a husband, you have to be a friend to your family. You have to be a provider. You have to be a protector. Right? So I'm, I'm asking for prayers for them both. Right? I'm asking for prayers for them both. It's Especially Travis. Especially Travis. Travis. God bless you. God bless you too, as Mr. Brown. God bless you. But Sister Rochelle encourages us this morning. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your child, my sister. Keep praying and pressing and praying and pressing. Push. 
push until something happened. That's the economy of push until something happened. God hear you talk, even this morning as you speak. God, listen to the intent of your heart and God's going to work upon the desire of your heart. And we will pray for Travis this morning. We will pray for Travis and for Sister Smith's um, sons. Is there someone have an encouraging word this morning to say or we just go straight into a prayer? Yes, good morning. I am about to clock in, but I just want to say quickly that um, Sister Donna, I just want to encourage you. You are not alone in this fight. I have similar experience with my son. He has yes, yes. said that God is has turned his back on him and he's like he's my youngest too. And um it's like he's saying that my my daughter is getting through it, this, getting through it, that and nothing for him, even as I, I said before on this platform, my daughter's immigration papers came through, his own hasn't come through. We are still waiting. Uh, on 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 um, to resubmit his papers, the lawyer said I should hold on because, as I told you on the live, they had sent a new letter for me to um. They have approved this I one thirty again, and so the lawyer has um, advised me just to hold on, just to do the citizenship first, and then I put it in. But I'm telling you, I know what you're going through. It's not yes, easy it's to not start easy. to re rebel against God, and you have brought. Yeah. Him in church. I had brought up my son and my daughter, my two sons and my daughter in church. Also too, sometimes when they meet other people, like for example, yes. I give you an example, a wife. The wife is like defiant and it's, uh, it's like when they criticize church. And so they too join with them and behave as if they were brought up in church. And I'm saying, if I brought you up in church, why are you straying away from church? I do not, you have a child too, the child, you need to take the child to church. So yeah. The child is being home on Sundays or Saturdays that if you are a Saturday worshiper, take the child to church. You cannot, you cannot have the church, the child not knowing anything about church. And moreover, in this country, the, 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 the religion is cut out of church. So, so, so it makes it even harder. They are not going to church and they are not, they are not getting religious education at school. Oh my God, what kind of generation are these people trying to grow up? And so we have parents have to instill it in them. And so you go to children church and see they're departing from it. Sister Donna, it really hurts. It really hurts. It's really heartbreaking. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Many a night, many a night, I sit and I cry. Many a times I pray and I cry. I just cry. Sometimes I can't even pray for him. Sometimes I just be crying, crying, crying. And I say, God, why is it that your children always have to go through this? I say, God, he is your child. Many a times I cry. I can't even talk. I cry. Sometimes I'm calling and he say, Mommy, Mommy, you into a new, you know, Mommy, you into a new, you know. I'm not even at your home right now because he he's out paying rent now and you know living on his own. And you know sometimes he say, Mommy, I want to come back home. Mommy, I want to come back home, Mommy. But sometimes, Mommy, it's just like we just can't don't have the mind to come back home. And many a times I cry and I say, Mighty God. I what know, I know, I know. I cry, I, know. I cry, I cry. Sometimes I can't even eat. Yes. I had to call my pastor's wife one at a time, and and I said, because she's a she's a counselor, and I, and I said, um, sister, tell her I don't know, but he's he's talking as if he doesn't know that there's a God, and you know, because I know that he's going through the depression and everything, but my God, wh wh why this have to happen? I said, God. What have I done to deserve all of this? I ask God the question because he's the one that we have to question. But I know, I know what you're going through. And I just want to encourage you this morning that we are going to pray together. And I'm just asking the prayer line to just continue to pray for Darian. I've seen some improvement in him. Even last night was his one of his counseling sessions. And after he spoke with the counselor, because he wouldn't warm up to the counselor in the first instant, he wouldn't want to hear from her. But now he's warming up with her. And she was so impressed last night because he was telling her that, oh, I want to try out for soccer. And I want my, my, my maths is the most thing that is um, down right now. And people of God, his grades came in on his, on, on his, on his, um, this thing that they put up for him to, for me to check it, and he, his lowest grade so far was the math. 
he is all up in his 90s. He has three A's and a D so far. And so I'm seeing improvement. It is almost a month since school started and he hasn't given me any trouble to go since. So I know that God is working and Sister Donna, God is going to turn your son around. Just as I have seen I improvement believe, in I believe my with all my heart. I believe, with all my heart. I believe this morning. So I'm just going to encourage you this morning just to hold the feet and just continue to pray. As mothers of Zion, we have to just yes. pray. Yes. It's not easy, but God, but God, yes. but, but God. God. But God. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed God day. Bless you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you, sister. We shall encourage us. You know, from Monday up until yesterday to this morning, we didn't get this word this morning. Such an untimed word. Don't give up on your child. Just keep pressing on. God bless you, Sister Rochelle, for this untimed word. Mothers, we hear it this morning. Don't give up on your child. It's not over yet. God has the last say upon your child. Not mama, not papa. God has the last say on your child. Don't give up. Just keep pressing on. Just keep pushing for excellence. Pushing them to success. They will come through. It's just a process they have to go through sometimes. That the prodigal um, son, he went away far, spent all he had. But when he think we make it no more, he come home. Leave the door open. He will come home. There's an appointed time. It's not yet, but he will come home. You keep up your end of the bargain in praying for them and reminding them that God is faithful and he is to his promise. And he promised not to leave them, nor forsake them. And God will bring them home. He will. He promised that he will. Just keep us, this is to encourage us this morning. Don't give up. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing prior. Just keep pushing prior. They don't even have to know sometimes that you're praying for them, but just keep ringing prayer bell for them. God will come true. So we're just going to go this morning in prayer. Every mama this morning, every mother, every grandmother, um, mother at heart, we just going to go into prayer this morning. We're going to ask God for continued guidance and protection for our children. This is the last week of the freedom that they had, and they're going into school now where they have to take it seriously to study. We are asking God this morning for coverage for them. The taxes that they drive in, they will not be in the map in, I can't pronounce the word, manipulate by the driver or whatever to whatever the case may be. They lose their innocence. We're going to ask God to keep them and to strengthen them. And they have a mindset, be not distracted. They'll follow the boundaries that mama and papa has set for them to be good children. The guideline of righteousness will be always hanging over them. Then when we at home and we pray for them when they are taught to school, when they leave out in the morning, even if you didn't get to put hands on them and ask for blood coverage, when they leave in the morning, pray for them. Even if you find yourself at work and you forgot to do it, just find an extra, extra minute there and pray for them. Cover them. Cover your child, mama. Cover your child under the blood. Cover them under the blood. I remember every morning with Alisa, sometimes we have to leave out before her and her daddy get her ready and take her to school. But I'm driving to work and I'm asking God for guidance and protection because she was not an easy child going to school. I have to go to school every second to the teacher and to come from a, a godly home. But sometimes the enemy can't get you. He works in the children to cast you down. So you have to keep pushing prior and God will see you through. Everyone, everywhere, if you can, please open your microphone. And we're going to go to God in prayer for her children. This is the last week, as I said, of the freedom that they had. They're going into school. They're going to serious business now with their education. We're going to pray and ask God for blood coverage for them. Everyone everywhere, and open your mic and start to pray if you can. Father, no God, Hallelujah. 
I'm 
and bring deliverance to them, my dear God. Thank you, I pray, my dear yes, God, that you will cover them and Jesus. God. You will visit them wherever they are, God, where they are sitting down. If they are standing this morning, oh God, I pray that you will visit them this morning in the name of Jesus. Lose them, my dear God, from the oppression of the this morning in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for the deliverance for your son. Lord, the mother is weeping too long. Help them to take responsibility to Elabaxanda to know that they need you in their lives. Take them out of that condition this morning. The Lord in their lives. Pull them out this morning in the name of Jesus. And set them free. Thank you for the deliverance this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. 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 Bring them closer Jesus. to Jesus. 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 Yes. Jesus. Come on, my dear God. Walk in every home this morning. Cover our children this morning. Cover our children this morning. Cover our children this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus. Here to the mighty God. The back to school. They need to go back there. This year. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have your way, eternal Father. Leave everything in your care. We thank you for those who are mighty God. Give your people strength. Mighty God, they too have grandchildren and children going to school. Give them under your blood, mighty God. Have your way. In this over oh, semester, God Almighty, take control. Give your teachers the strength, mighty God. We come against those who will be coming against the teachers. Who is mighty God? Have your way. The teachers will not be discouraged. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking. We pray that you will have your way this morning. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God Almighty, wherever that is to be this morning. Yes, Jesus. this time is so great. God. Hallelujah, glory bring them out this morning. We pray. Jesus. Oh, you never quit hand. It made the difference. Your blood made the difference. Yes, Lord. Transform. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This morning we give our children into your hand, the Holy yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We put them into your hands this morning. Mother, this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, to touch them. Hallelujah. Deliver the hand out of the hand of the enemy. God Almighty. The enemy wants to conquer them, to save them, oh God Almighty. But this morning, Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, fall upon our children. Walk by our children. Lord God, 
mighty, you know how we are. Oh God Almighty, but this morning we give them, we give them into your hand. God, there is no mountain that is not too high. There is no problem, there's no situation that you cannot rectify. Hallelujah. This morning we give them to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover them under your blood. Oh, under your blood. Your blood was shed for us. Your blood was shed for your children. You said that we are to suffer them to come unto you and forbid them not. For us, such is your kingdom. This morning, God, we are forbidding them not, but we bring them to you this morning at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. I will say, let God arise in the, the light. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. And the enemies be scattered yes, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we call it done today. Hallelujah. 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 We call it done in the name of Jesus. We believe you this morning. Oh, you're all powerful. You're all powerful this morning. And we thank you for hearing us, God. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Oh, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Almighty God, for the victory. Victory is in you this morning. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. I have two prayer directives this morning that we need to add it to the children because the children depended on these set of people to help them along the way, our auxiliary staff and our teachers, our teachers, our teachers, the only one that is teaching our children and help to right from wrong in the classroom and to give them help to give them good education to them. And we're gonna ask God for the for to cover the teachers and to help them, even though the children they may be a little bit ruddy and disobedient sometimes, just to love them and to in to instill in them what they need to know about good education. And our, um, our kitchen staff and the, the people that map the floors and all this involved in the school system. We're gonna ask, Sister Enid, can you do that for me in closing off? Amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. Um, Son of God, Jesus, our covenant, Jesus. Father, we worship you this morning. We praise you this morning, Lord. We exalt you. We, we lift you up in adoration, mighty God. We know that you are the king of kings, the great I am that I am. Mighty God, the prince of peace. Oh God, you are the joy of our heart, Almighty God. And so we worship you. We know, God, you are the miracle worker, God. We know that you hear, you understand, Almighty God. Oh God Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega. This morning, Lord, you have heard the prayers. You have been hearing, oh, not only on this um, line, but on every line this week, Almighty God. It's all about the children and going to school. Oh God, the teachers, the auxiliary staff, God. And so this morning, as I close off this morning, and you know, they'll be teaching on the road come Monday. We as Christians and as children of God, we will always be praying because we pray, Lord, we, we come to you because you know, God, we have no other one to look to and as we keep our focus oh god we believe in your word we are confident of the god we serve oh god we give our testimonies oh god the life we live pleases others that they come to god 
and mighty God, even our own children, sometimes when they are so rebellious, but God, we still see them come over to you, Almighty God. And so we worship you this morning. We lift you up in adoration. We praise you, Lord. We love upon you. Oh, God, and we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God Almighty, we put before you, hallelujah, this morning. Our teachers, oh, God, they are all human. Oh, God, they are, they, they are under they have a family to care for too. Oh God, they have bills to pay. Sometimes it is so stressful on the teachers. Oh God, and the curriculum that they have to do and the pressures that they undergo. But God, this morning we present them in your hands, Almighty God. Some are saved, some are unsaved. Some have kept it away from the sea they have tasted and seen but god you know the pressures of life but god you are a forgiving god this morning i stand in the gap i ask for mercies oh god for your teachers this morning i present them to you god to the father oh god because it is your grace that is keeping us almighty god and we want to thank you for favor we want to thank you for your grace. We want to thank you for patience. We want to thank you, oh God Almighty, for the love, oh God, that they will care for our children. They will take our children as their own, mighty God. And we pray that our children, as they leave home, you know, the peer pressure, almighty God, that is out there, the things they don't do at home, you know, they go there and they do. Sometimes they even lie to their friend that they can go to parties and the places they go, oh God Almighty, and nothing like that because some of them cannot really come out, Almighty God, but when peer pressure comes, when the other friends talk about things, oh God, they lie, forgive them, Lord, we pray sometimes they travel with their clothes in their bag, we as parents don't even know. Oh, God, they go on the bus, they change it, they top, they comb their hairstyle in different ways. Oh, God, and when they are coming back, we say, oh, these are our nice children. But, God, when they go there, they are disrespectful. They do a lot of things, God, that is not of you. And they, they are so rude sometimes to the teachers because of peer pressure. So, Lord, we pray for blood coverage in the schools. We pray that you will... The teachers will love them and they will love the teachers and respect them and honor them, Almighty God. Oh God, we give you the auxiliary work as you know they are the ones who tidy up and keep the places clean. And God, we pray that the children don't throw the garbage on the ground. They will use the, the bins and make life much easier for them because it's not easy. Oh Lord, do house keeping the auxiliary work it takes in the whole school yard almighty god it takes in the washing up of even the dishes it takes in the sweeping and top of the ground oh god almighty and they too have family they too oh the salary when you look at it oh mighty god it's just the mercy that is keeping us but we thank you for your grace Oh God, we ask you to touch them. We ask you to save those who are not saved, whether the teachers, auxiliary workers, the cooks in the kitchen. Mighty God, we place them before you, Almighty God, because when you go to the kitchen, it's stained and the gas stove can blaze up. So much things can happen, too much salt in the pot. Oh God, things can go in the pot that is not even supposed to drop in the pot. And so, God, we pray that you give them eye opening, oh God, and that they will cook those meals, oh God Almighty, with love, that Lord, and that you, God, will be in it. They will sing uh, the gospel while they're singing, not the rootful dance, oh God Almighty, that the music that the world is playing out there. Oh, God, for whatever goes down in your stomach, oh, God, that is what stays with you. If it is to kill you, it will kill you, and if you are to live, you will live. So we pray that the love of God will be in this food. So we ask Almighty God to touch the cooks, provide 
for them. Oh God Almighty, that they can provide for their children. The same with the Advilaro workers and the teachers. Oh God Almighty, we put them before you, Almighty God. And we thank you, God, for what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, because we believe in you and we know we can trust the God we serve, God. And when we pray, oh God, we, we believe in confidence, knowing that you are the Almighty God and it is your grace and mercy. It is your power, Almighty God, that is going to take us through. God, we cannot pray and doubt you. Because if we pray and doubt you, the things we pray for will never come true. But we pray this morning and we stand in faith. Oh God Almighty. Because as Paul instructed the believers, oh God, that we should stand against the scheme of the devil. Oh God Almighty. And so as believers, we are standing in confidence in the fact knowing that there is victory and we are being secure in Christ himself all through the death of the cross. So God, we have a confidence to believe so that God is alive and he's not dead, almighty God. And so this morning we want to thank you for your grace, Lord. We want to thank you for your mercies. Oh God, you said we should put on the armor and prepare ourselves. Oh God, so we will stay focused on you as the words go up, oh God Almighty. Because we know the spiritual warfare is there, but it's not for us. Oh God, because the power of the Holy Spirit, Almighty God, you will come against the sinful desires of ourselves. Oh God, and you will cleanse us as we pray and you will wash us as we ask for our forgiveness and for mercies for our children for families. We stand, Lord, that, oh God, even the, the taxi drivers, the bus drivers, oh God, oh God, they, they all turn into godly people. You alone can transform them, Lord. We pray if that, God, as the children, they go out, they will hear more Christian songs playing in the taxis. Oh, God Almighty, that they will gravitate to it. We pray, but God, that even now the churches will put up some sound system, play through the day and don't worry about the light, but God, just play some gospel that it will turn even the hearts of the rapists. Oh, God, so each time they drive through the communities, oh, God, on the road, they will hear some gospel praying. And so, God, the enemy won't have the time to linger in the year. They will have to be running to find places, Lord, to go and go back to their own resting place, oh God, and leave our children alone. Oh God, we call upon you in faith. And we thank you, Lord, because you says, God, we will end your hardship, oh God, but we are like good soldiers as we continue to pray. Oh God Almighty, you said we should fight to the good faith. And so, God, we are fighting through we come. We cannot see, but, Lord, as we pray from day to day, each morning we wake up, it's another new day. Oh, God, we preserve, help us to preserve our children. Oh, God, help us to persevere in our praying, Almighty God. Oh, God Almighty, because you are a victorious God. And if we are depending on you, Almighty God, we will be victorious. Oh, God Almighty, so God, we pray that you will close the doors that are supposed to be closed. And we thank you, Lord, that you are going to open the doors, Almighty God, that are the ones that are supposed to be opened. Oh, God, we, we will pray that our fathers will not look at us, his daughter. And think that is our one. mighty God. So we pray that our brother will look at our sister and think, oh, we can do whatever. Oh, God, we pray that evil, although they are allowing a boy and a girl to use the same bathroom, oh, God, we pray that our children, when they go, they can differentiate right from wrong and they will know that, oh, God Almighty, that a boy and a girl are not supposed to use the same bathroom. And boys are to be boys and girls are to be girls because, oh, God Almighty, you see the corruption from the head of the stream down. 
No one knows all the good and the bad anymore. Oh, God Almighty. For when the rich man steals, he gets additional money. When the poor man steals, he goes to prison. So, God, we pray that they will see, God, the difference. Oh, God Almighty. Because a thief is just a thief. And a thief, you don't have a higher thief than a poor thief. Oh, God Almighty, so we pray, God, as you are the advocate of all cases, Almighty God, everyone will be on the same level. When a man is wrong, he's wrong. And children will begin to know right from wrong. And so, God, as we lift us up this morning for your blessings today, I pray that, God, you will anoint us with your strength that we can survive. And self-care today, tomorrow, and always, Almighty God. I pray, Almighty God, hallelujah, glory to God, that your grace will be with us. Oh, God, you will give us patience to deal with our children. You will give us the understanding. Oh, God Almighty, to know that even sometimes we were there. Oh, God, and sometimes when we look at our own children, we see the fire in them, like when we were growing up, you know, and then we are just neglecting it and saying, no, what's that? But God, you know, because we as mothers, we know our children. We know the fire they carry. We know which one is like the mother. Oh, God, and we know ourselves. Oh, God, and as we, as I pray the mother, oh, God, we, I pray that we, as we identify ourselves and our children, oh, God, we will have that patience to love them. So give us that wisdom, Almighty God. I pray, hallelujah, glory to God, that, Oh, God, you will help us to encourage them to walk the good path. Oh, God, we'll take them through. You, Lord Almighty God, will take them through the path of righteousness. You will take them out of the valley. Oh, God, as you have promised. Oh, God. So, God, help us that you encourage us throughout the day to take the correct step, to walk proudly, and to behave well. Mighty God, this is all I pray. No other name, but in the name of Jesus, as I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Open your microphone and seal it with an amen. 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 It is so. It is so. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen to Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. It was my pleasure to have closed off this segment. Uh, to our, our faith walks prayer line um, have a great weekend everyone love you have fun sending out your children to school and we have a great, great, one. Have a great weekend everyone great weekend God bless you all God bless you God um, bless Sister you. Joy can I close out with a song please okay and then turn over to Minister Letts Minister Letts after you sing Minister Letts will take over okay thank you God bless you all God bless you all. All right. So this is a song that um my son, he always sing and he loves to sing. It's by Alvin Slot. I don't have the best of voice, but I just feel like I want to do it this morning. All right. And it says, um, your eyes on the sparrow and your hands, it comfort me from the earth of the earth. To the depth of my heart, let your mercy and strength be seen. You call me to your purpose as a angel understands. For your glory, may you draw as your love and grace demand and I will rise to your word sorry to your strength the truth it's not by might not by power but by the spirit of God 
and I will run till I see your face. Oh, let me leave your grace. You call me to your purpose. Angels understand for your glory. May you draw as your love and grace demands, and I will run till I see your face. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Yes, I will run till I see your face. Oh, let me live the glory of your grace god bless you this is a song that i will live to see my son sing this song again by the grace of god it is favorite song and he loved to sing it god bless you all and thank you for your moment god bless you lady dana god bless you and yes man you have voice man god bless you for all those persons who are on the <laughs> god bless you your your um the holy ghost has been singing through you you continue to sing woman of god god bless you god bless you all take care of yourself remember tomorrow morning we're having um prayer bells and also later prayer cells please remember to join join these um platform as we continue to pray 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 that's what the word of god says my people who have called by my name